because the sun will rise again tomorrow who knows what the tide may bring for every bird lover around pune bhigwan is a must visit place every migratory season for last 3 years i have visited this particular place more than a dozen times and this place unfolds new secrets every time the early morning boat ride gives you exposure to maximum number of bird species a good guide can bring you sight of extraordinary number of birds some are resident while most are migratory in nature flamingos usually flock together in huge numbers but we were lucky to find this greater flamingo couple in the early morning light a huge flock gets scared easily when approached by boat but this couple were relaxed and were indulged in their daily habits which helped us capture a glimpse of it We started our day with a flamingo couple affectionately going around each other while wandering along the shoreline tapping on the riverbed with their feet and occasionally bending down to feed with their beak on the water It almost looks like they're dancing when they tap on the river floor with their feet in a rhythmic manner while they actually disturbs the mud to access the food mixed with it With the help of the filter inside their beak they can easily separate food from the stilt The painted stork and the open bill storks shares the same habitat as the flamingos but there is no competition for food between them The painted storks mainly looks for small to medium sized fish shrimps and other crustaceans The open bill storks feeds mainly on mollusks A variety of bird species can share the same habitat as they never fight for food because every species focuses on different type of food and the rich riverbed provides plenty for each species We moved a few hundred meters and came to see a huge seagull colony. The larger ones with black heads are palace gulls. The smaller ones are brown-headed gulls. They are migratory in nature, breeds in high plateaus of Central Asia 
and winters in large inland lakes in the Indian subcontinent. At the end of the boat ride, we got prized by the peregrine falcon, the fierce predator and the fastest animal on the planet. It was sitting on a high branch, keeping a watch, maybe picking his next meal. After the boat ride, we ventured into the woodland areas to look for different species of birds. We came across the common hoopoes. After spending a little time with them, they become used to with our presence and started feeding on insects by digging into the ground with their slender beaks. This place can be full of wonders if you know where to look. Although the boat ride was extremely fruitful and took us close to various species, it is difficult to photograph birds from an unstable platform. The boat wobbles and moves around making it extremely difficult to shoot. The next morning we headed out to look for a place where we can sit close to the river bank and shoot some actions like the egrets and herons fishing technique. On our way, I spotted this spotted owlet roosting on a tree branch. Luckily, we found a spot where we can strategically position us hidden in the vegetation and keep an eye on the birds. Our first visitor was a common green shank. Busily piping in the mud, this wader scans the shoreline for food.
A sandpiper couple attracted my eyes while they were fighting. Whether it was a friendly fight or a courtship ritual, hard to tell. As the first light hits the water, the egret gets ready and makes the final adjustment to its feathers. The action was about to begin. Carefully and silently moving around the shallows, the great egret keeps a close watch if something is moving underwater. When following it, you have to admire its patience. Cause at times it stays still for more than 10 minutes, keeping a close look at its prey. <coughs> Only a couple attempts in 10 become successful. The strategy of the little egret is a little different. Shaking the submerged vegetation with his feet, he tries to scare the prey out in the open where he can see and catch it. Unlike the great egret, the little egret almost never stops at one place and busily wanders around the banks. The pond heron was already dealing with his catch when it caught my sight. He carried the prey to a solid ground where it cannot escape. Put its catch on the ground, stabbed it with his beak and washed it before swallowing. The grey heron steps in and starts searching for prey in an almost identical way as the great egret. He moved potentially narrowing on its target and in a sudden blow snatches the fish out of water, tosses it once before swallowing it alive. The list of birds are unending, so one can feel his heart capturing them through his lenses or just spend time watching their behavior all day. Big One is a place that shelters a huge number of birds 
and places like this needs to be protected as such places are diminishing as a result of human activities. A big thanks and my respect to the locals who live a very simple life farming and fishing to earn their livelihoods showing us that coexistence is possible only a mutual respect is all it demands. Give a thumbs up and please share and subscribe to my channel if you like my content.